Eli Manning wrapped up his career after the end of this season. Uh, Eli was the Giants quarterback for 16 years, and I remember vividly back in 2004 during that draft, the draft class, the draft leading up to it, hearing about Eli and hearing how the Giants might take him. And I remember the day that Eli was drafted, uh, April 24th, 2004, which was a strange day for me personally. Uh, that was the day that my mother passed away. So my favorite team has this new quarterback and this major life event happens. So, you know, I'm 14 and I'm kind of confused and I'm not really sure what life's going to hold next. And this guy starts playing for the Giants and I kind of don't like him. I say, I want Kerry Collins back. I want to start Kurt Warner. But Eli Manning's hard play really changed the way I viewed him going to the playoffs in 2005 and 2006 until that magical run in 2007 where he really made a believer out of me in him, uh, challenging the undefeated Patriots, not only in the last season of the game, but in the Super Bowl. And I remember where I was watching their run facing the Buccaneers, the Cowboys, the Packers in frozen Lambeau, and then that great Super Bowl, which Eli and the Giants won. Um, I was 18 and I was at my aunt's house watching that Super Bowl and we all went crazy. It was the first time, me personally, I had ever seen a team that I liked, whether it be a baseball, hockey, basketball, any team that I root for, win a title. So for me that was really special. And it was, it was, it was a great moment to be there for and, you know, Eli was a big part of that. Uh, he led two bottom ranked defense, one ranked the 17th, one ranked 25th, to Super Bowl victories as he went back in 2012 for the 2011 season and beat the Patriots again, dealing Tom Brady and Bill Belichick their second Super Bowl loss in a row. And I was 22 for that one. And I remember, you know, I was with uh, my girlfriend at the time who, you know, she was the first person I ever loved and we had just gotten together and the Giants were the Super Bowl and it was another great time in my life. And even just regular Sundays at home with my dad and my brother, my dad was like, Eli's come in and get all pumped up as the Giants would enter the fourth quarter because there was a lot of fourth quarter comebacks with Eli and the Giants in that time. And I'll remember that. I'll remember my brother uh, watching with him going to an opening season game at Giants Stadium, watching them play uh, the kickoff of the 2017 season versus the Lions. Uh, I was there for Eli's 300 touchdown in 2016 uh, when he threw it against the Ravens. And then I was also at a game in 2018 where they faced the Tennessee Titans. It was the end, it was December. They scored zero points and Eli looked very human. But that doesn't discredit the fact that for 16 years he was New York's quarterback. He was the rock here in New York. He was kind of like football's Derek Jeter. New York fans have been blessed to have these guys stay in this city for so long and just do so much positive things. Eli Manning, Walter Payton, Man of the Year Award. So even though his numbers may be mediocre in terms of wins-loss ratio, and he did throw for 57,000 yards. He did throw 326 touchdown passes, 366 touchdown passes, and he was a Super Bowl MVP twice. So I don't think you can discredit Eli. I'm excited for him to go into the Hall of Fame. I'm excited to be an Eli Manning fan, and just from the bottom of my heart, and I'm sure everyone else in the sports hit list who is a fan of New York sports, thank you, Eli. I'm Tom Kenny for the Sports Hit List. Make sure you like our page, subscribe, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. We just launched our first Twitter, all that great stuff. Thank you very much, and have a great afternoon.